Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Game Pie, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Riders. Continuing Waves missions here, we're now going into Dark Desert and Sky Road. The last two regular courses, I guess you could say, although there is one last story course. Because despite just being a circle with a boss on it, we are in fact going to be, not even a circle, an oval with a boss on it. We are going to be going through missions involving the Babylon Guardian. Although, few of them actually have anything to do with said Guardian. <laughs> anyway, on to this mission here. There's a lot of ramps on this stage, but a lot of them are either drop-offs or act as drop-offs. So you're going to need to basically manipulate drop-offs a lot to get a lot of your points. That said, there's plenty of them to do it with, and I don't think you actually need to do it with all of them. Unfortunately, there's only one real ramp that you can get a full X rank trip trick off of. But with some good timing, you'll be able to handle this mission no problem. They also don't even require you to get 30 points for a gold rank, so I mean, that's pretty good. Anyway, onward to the junk mission of this level. Uh, let's see here. What goes on here? Ah, yes, playing is Sonic! There's going to be a lot of junks on these early platforms. And, honestly, I don't usually like doing tricks off the platforms here, because it gets very difficult to keep track of what's going on. You end up going really fast. It is just really hard to keep track of what you're trying to do there. But, if you can manage it, it you can get a pretty good junk or two. Anyway, basic stuff here. Get onto the grind rail and grind. And that's just... You get a couple junk. Well, just one junk, actually. Now, this junk right here... It, it's really hard to see it coming. Like, you don't see it until the last second. But fortunately, it's positioned in such a way that you almost have to be uh, trying to avoid it to miss it. So, that's good. <laughs> the black junk here is pretty easy to collect. So, if you're ever trying to grind black junk before you get access to the really good black junk grinding areas... This not this this isn't too bad of a level to do it with. But yeah, you'll find that a lot of the dark uh, desert missions are actually really easy to do. I'm pretty sure that I do all of them without uh, getting a single outtake, and I'm pretty sure that I get gold rank on all of them as well. So you know, now we have another level where you have to go fast, as knuckles, just boost a lot, break objects. Once again, I don't really like doing tricks off of these ramps, though actually that might not be a bad idea in this particular case. I also just don't like playing as power characters on this level, because in the Techno Cave that we get up to back here, there's not much going on on the power path. There are a couple blocks to, bre to break through, but honestly, any character could dodge the blocks that normally appear on this path, I'm pretty sure. And it doesn't feel like it's much longer or shorter than any regular path, so... It feels like power characters just get the short end of the stick here. That said, coming up to the end here, they do get a nice shortcut through this little turn here. So that's nice. But yeah, this mission as a whole, just really simple. Nothing to it. And then we get a nice little mission here, next, with uh, flight rings. And y'all know how much I love flight ring missions. This one has a little bit of interestingness to it, in the fact that you actually get to go through the turbulence base shortcut. Where, you know, you get off these flight rings here, and then you'll end up on top of the first cave. Which, normally, to get up here, you would have to enter turbulence in this turn over here, down in the cave, and end up flipping through the floor onto the top path. Yeah, apparently that is a one-way path, a one-way floor. Much like you'll find in many platforms, except it's in a 3D game. Which is rather rare in such games, especially racing games. But yeah, I mean, once you get past that one bit there, where you go on the top pathway, not, not much else happens. <laughs> you get a couple extra flight rings here, and then that's it. That's, that's the mission. 
honestly, once again, I feel like they could have done more with this area. Because, you know, there's a lot of the Techno Cave that is pretty cool. There's the exit to the Techno Cave that's pretty cool. There's, I mean, the last mission here is ring collecting. And I mean, ring collecting missions are fun, but a lot of the greatness that comes out of the mission mode is the fact that you get to explore these levels in new and interesting ways. And that's just not something that Waves missions really do a whole lot of. But yeah, I mean, ring collecting mission. I can't complain about this because, I mean, it's a good place to grind rings. I think it might actually be one of the best places to grind rings, honestly. Even though I never actually used these missions to grind rings personally, I always did Grand Prix. Because, um, what I would usually do in Grand Prix mode is just try out different rides constantly. See how well I could do with them. Also, for some reason, the grind rail is not present in this version of the level. That's a lot of rings I just missed. It's a little bit sad, really. Oh, look, in that. I hit the boost ramp, got the first couple rings, but then all of a sudden, I miss all the others. And that's just, that's really weird. I'm trying to align myself to get at least a couple rings here at the end. Like I said, I don't know how many rings you need to get a gold ring. I'm gonna guess 90. That's what I'm gonna guess. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, it takes 50 rings to get bronze. And it doesn't take 100 rings to get gold, so that's something. Anyway, onward to Sky Road, which is another level that I don't really like that much. I mean, Sky Road, whenever grinding for rings, is the worst level to play, I feel. Because it just feels like you're always going on ability paths, at least the way that I play the level. And so there's rarely ever any time to get any sort of rings. Also, there's bombs around that for some reason. I don't get it. But it's there! I mean, normally there is a 100 ring capsule right around there, so I guess that's one place to grab rings, but as a whole, it's just... it doesn't feel very good. Also here, I tried to do a side flip to land back on the ground past the uh, flight rings, but it didn't work. Not that it matters, I still get the gold rank anyway, because, I mean, this level is actually... this once again, this level also has some pretty easy missions. I don't quite go all gold like I did in um, the, the last level, but not much harder. Boom, got the cannon, and that's it. Also, this level feels like it's really long for some reason. I don't know if that's just me, or if it's legitimately longer than most stages, but that's just how I feel about it. Anyway, on to junk collecting. <laughs> uh, yeah. We got another flight character. It's Tails. I always appreciate junk collecting with Tails. It's always a good time. Although this one has some pretty cheap junks. I mean, first of all, there's that one way up high off the ramp at the very beginning. But then we'll get to some other ones later that are almost as difficult. Although, to be honest, I never actually had any fails regarding that one right up there, and I do have some fails regarding some later ones, so that's something. This feels like a perfect area to have a junk off of a ramp, off of one of these little small ramps. But, uh, no, you don't have any of them for some reason. I don't get it. But yeah, here are these flight rings. They've got some surprisingly difficult junk to grab because of the ways that the flight rings send you. The angles that they send you at, anyway. And then once you land on this platform up here by doing the backflip, you you pretty much got it. That's the end of the level. Pretty simple, other than that one flight ring segment. And now we'll see why that other flight ring segment was difficult. Right after we watched me just completely pass up that one jump. Yeah, as you can see, the angles that it sent me at actually sent me under the black jump. And of course, it's the black jump that's going to be hard to get. Because, I mean, you know, why not? Uh, anyway, time for a Sonic stage! And, you know, at the end of this level, there's an ability pathway for every type of character. And you're not normally able to access these ability paths on the first lap, because of where it starts you. 
But this particular rail is the one instance where you can access it. Because normally you're supposed to access that the start of the rail starts right after the finish line. Which is not where you start. So grabbing that rail off the ramp there actually gives you a really good boost in helping to succeed on this level. It's one of the few times where I feel like speed characters have a legitimate advantage because of their shortcut. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, this mission isn't really that interesting. I mean, there were a ton of bombs and pillars on the fields, but I never ran into any of them. There wasn't any outtakes because of that. Yeah, see, this is where the rail begins. And, uh, yeah, the beginning is after you're able to access it. Yeah, as you can see, that one, I wasn't far right enough. You do have to have a really good, like, foresight into how to begin the stage to actually access that shortcut. But if you can, it can give you a major boost. Anyway, after Ice Factory and all the robot shenanigans that happened there, I was kind of put off by these particular kinds of missions, honestly, where you had to knock down a bunch of pillars. And just sort of, if I felt like I should have been able to hit that pillar, I'm not, I'm not going to care anymore. <laughs> because af after all the robots that it looked like I should have hit in Ice Factory, I was just not putting up with that anymore. And you'll see, there's a bunch of pillars that I feel like I should have hit here, but no. No, I didn't. Because, yeah, see that pillar? Why, why didn't I hit that pillar a moment ago? What the heck? That pillar I passed through! These mechanics are terrible. <laughs> and, you know, maybe it's a good thing that I never play as power characters. Because if I was trying to go through the power pathway and they just kept not hitting things, That'd be ridiculously annoying. But uh, yeah, my Knuckles continues to be canon at not being good at smashing things with another bronze ring. Oh well. Anyway. Now what we got is another one of these missions where you have to stay above on 140, and this time you're playing as Knuckles who doesn't have as high a top speed as Sonic unsurprisingly, and that makes it much more difficult. As a whole, this is easily the hardest mission in this level. Which, I mean, that makes sense. It's, it's mission 5. It should be the hardest mission. That's a logical situation there. But yeah, there's a lot of boost pads that I keep missing constantly. Even in other runs, I would never hit some of those. Also, make sure to keep your air up, because, I mean, I, I've almost run out of air here. <laughs> and that's bad. That's really bad. Also, trying to boost your jump off of the ramps is, like I mentioned earlier, is very difficult. But it isn't until this mission that it really becomes relevant. Because, I mean, in the previous missions, it wasn't that bad. But here, it is a severe issue, as you're about to see. Oh, and I got the silver rank for some reason. Oh, yeah. Went below 150. Ran to a bomb for that one. Yeah, uh, if you go below, below 150 speed, it will tell you if there's enough time. Yeah, as you can see there, I tried to charge up a jump and it didn't work. As you can see here, I run into the electricity and that is an immediate failure. <laughs> and then here, I mess up the trick. And that is an immediate failure. Yeah, with that said, guys, I'm Mr. Game Pie. See you next time.